Well, the midterm elections are only a few weeks away, and Republicans are hoping to regain control of the U.S. House. In one Arizona district, an unknown candidate is facing an uphill battle to capture a seat long held by Democrats. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. I'm in South Phoenix, Arizona, in the state's third congressional district, where a true grassroots effort is taking place by Republican candidate Jeffrey Zink. He's trying to unseat incumbent Ruben Gallego in a heavily populated Hispanic district. I walked for six weeks, six to eight hours a day, six to ten miles a day to get signatures to be on the ballot. Jeffrey Zink has held many jobs, a curriculum developer, an NCAA basketball referee, and an ordained minister. He tells me the Lord cured him of debilitating physical ailments and told him to run. God stood before me that night and said, I'm going to break your headaches, I'm going to restore your health, and I'm going to send you to Congress to represent my people. It's an uphill battle. Democrats have controlled the largely Hispanic 3rd District since 2000. His kitchen table is campaign headquarters, and national Republicans advised him they wouldn't send money on his race. Zink tells me voters want to change. We've had three Latino congressmen in this 22-year period. We went from 12% below the poverty line in 2000 to well over 70% below the poverty line now. I'm God-fearing and I'm just a conservative that want government out of my homes. Well, most Latino families want that. The, the fathers want a good paying job. There are no uh, jobs here in this area. He supports the Supreme Court's decision of having states decide the issue of abortion. The Catholic Church and any person that is a uh, Christian should know that uh, this is wrong and, and something that we cannot support, and yet we have a candidate is for it, and I am definitely against it. If you are elected to office, what's your legislative agenda once you get there? I want $87 billion to stay here in the United States and go to our needy and to our homeless and to our veterans and take care of them. We need to start taking care of ourselves. He also favors enforcing current immigration laws along with health care and election reform. Zink admits he was part of the rally on January 6th in Washington, D.C., but says he never went inside the Capitol. He condemns the destruction that took place, but does believe the election wasn't fair. It's important to note EWTN News Nightly reached out to Ruben Gallego for an on-camera interview. However, our emails never received a response. In Phoenix, Arizona, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.